What's up everybody, Tatan Sureta here. And today I wanna to show you a simple way to change the color of your background using Capture One Pro. Now a while ago I did a video about how you can change the color of your background using Photoshop. For those of you that don't like going to Photoshop and just like to work with your raw developer, this video is for you. So let's get started. Alright people, so here we are inside Capture One. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, there's another video that I did about uh, introduction to Capture One, so you know all about the tools and the tabs and all the things that are going around here. Now one of the things that Capture One is good at is uh, working with color and we can add layers to our uh, conversion, right? So today we're going to talk about changing the color of our background okay so to do that we are going to we're not going to work on our background layer we're going to re actually we're going to create a new layer which we're going to call um color background just as a reference okay now before we get started um this layer is an empty layer so we have to paint inside this layer uh we got to mask this out we're going to create some masks so we can change just the uh, color of our background. So to do that, we're gonna go over here to our draw mask tool, okay? Now, before we start painting, we're gonna set this up. So we're going to right click on the screen and here we can uh, set our brush. We've got a size, a hardness, opacity, and flow. These two are going to be set at 100%. Um, after that, uh, hardness, I'm going to leave it at 50%, so it's not super soft in the edges. Actually, I think I'm going to crank it up a little bit to 60, so it's not that feathered. And the size is obviously going to change depending on the area we're going to work with. Now, the most important part is to have this auto mask um, turn on. This is going to help us tremendously when we start painting out. All right. Now, I'm going to increase the size of the brush. I can show you something. This brush, if you can see it, um, it has three different rings, right? So we got the outer ring, we got the middle ring, and we got the center ring. The center ring is the one that is going to be sampling uh, the area that we need to match. Uh, the middle ring is where we have to touch the edge of whatever we're going to uh, separate or, or it's going to be our limit. So in this case, I'm going to start painting here. And I'm going to go across and I'm going to lift my brush and capture one should snap out. See how it took off the areas that we don't want. Now there's a little areas over here. We're going to deal with that later on. So we're going to keep on painting around our subject. Okay. So let's paint edges over here let's paint this edge over here here and if we press command plus we can zoom in so we can get into like this little tight little areas and then uh, capture one work through its magic uh, now we can go in this place over here do the same thing that we were doing before. We'll paint this up. Get close to the edges. Okay, I'll lift and we'll let capture one decide if we're to take it off or not. And we're going to go to this other area over here and paint this out and we'll let capture one do its magic and here's a little piece of hair this little area over here is going to be a little bit tricky but I don't mind I'm just going to paint over here and just let capture one decide right so in this selection that we did over here can see we really went 
but I didn't want it to. So if I press the letter E, we go to an eraser so we can erase this out. Same way we can do this edge over here. We can try to clean this up a little bit more. Clean this up. So we already done a fair selection. We still have a little piece of information left out here. So we can sample this up. There you go. And let's increase our size of brush. Come all the way around here, paint this up. And paint this area over here. To make it full. So now we have our mask created. Now it's not perfect, but uh, Capture One is, like I said, incredible at doing uh, masking and fine tuning and everything. So before we get into how to refine this, we're going to go and press Option M or Alt M if you're on a PC, and you'll see this is like the mask in, in grayscale. You can see this edge over here and a couple of things more that don't look properly. So we're going to go to our layer. We're going to right click and we're going to go to refine mask. And what this is going to do is start working on the edges. So it's going to figure out how the edges look. We can uh, adjust the radius so it fine tune everything. So it feels a bit more natural. Once we are happy with it, we can press apply and then we can zoom in to see what we don't like. For example, this is too much. So I can press the E to erase and start erasing whatever I feel is not a good part of the selection that it should be uh, dealing with the color on the background. Over here, probably this is a little bit too much, so I'm going to erase this. I'm going to erase this area over here. I'm going to erase this piece of the ear as well. This edge probably is a little bit too much, so I'm going to try to see if I can find it up a little bit more. Down here, probably here in the hat, and here on this cheek. All right, so that is our selection. Okay, option M or Alt M in PC to go back to our normal, normal image. And here's where the fun part comes. So if we go here to our color uh, tab, there's a bunch of things that we can use. Color balance probably is going to be the fastest and more accurate because you can see the colors right here. In this case, I will like to go with the highlight slider. So that way I know it's not going to affect anything that has to do with darker tones. So let's say I want to add a blue background. So I'll just drag this down. And voila, I just made a subtle change on the background. Uh, I can always come over here and try to increase the saturation a little bit. Uh, probably I could try to create increase exposure or decrease the exposure. Um, if you think it's not enough, you can try to go to midtones and try to add a little bit more blue of that. And there you have it. That's the easiest way to change background color on Capture One. It's not that hard. Uh, you can always lower down the opacity of this layer if you think it's too much. So it matches the general tone of your image. But overall, that is it. So there you have it, guys. A simple way to change the color of your background using Capture One Pro. If you like the video, please share, please like, and please subscribe to the channel. If you don't have a copy of Capture One Pro, I'll leave the link in the description below. And if you want to keep on supporting me in these videos, you can use the promo code Suleta at your checkout. So there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching, and you'll have a very, very, very good day.